So, hi everyone! Welcome to our class, Introduction to Agriculture and Fisheries. This will be uh, our Module 1 lecture video. I have uh, uploaded also other necessary videos in our Google Classroom. Uh, I hope that you'll watch it so that uh, you'll understand uh, the topics covered in Module 1. Uh, by the way, if you have read our curriculum guide and syllabus, just a quick review about our course. So this is an introduct, uh, uh, an exploratory, I mean, exploratory and somehow an introductory course for the different branches in agriculture. Um, hindi tayo masyadong uh, magdi-discuss dun sa mga uh, mostly science behind uh, agriculture and fisheries since we're just gonna focus on basic concepts, okay? Basic concepts in the branches of agriculture. So, let's define first, what is agriculture? So, agriculture is the art and science of cultivating the soil growing crops, and raising livestock. It includes the preparation of plant and animal products for people to use in their distribution to markets. This definition is from National Geographic. So, uh, agri agriculture is napaka simple na, uh, definition ito. But, the process itself, the actual um, you know, planting, breeding, that's definitely complicated. So, somehow, alam na natin to, eh. alam na natin ang agriculture. And there are so many um, products that we can get from agriculture. Besides food, pati clothing, okay? Pati fabric, we get it from here. And actually, well, nowadays, though it's, it's an issue, uh, sobrang daming products ang, uh, ang nakukuha natin sa agriculture na um, pati yung mga unnecessary things ay uh, nagagawa na. So, that's the, the sad part with this one. But anyway, um, uh, I, I think by now, you have understood the importance of agriculture. Since well, people needs food, right? Hindi tayo mabubuhay ng walang pagkain. And saan ba natin nakukuha yung pagkain? Plants and animals, right? So, agriculture is very important. From the videos I have posted, I think by, by now, or probably after this lecture, you can watch the history and also the importance of agriculture. So, um, since food is a basic necessity, kailangan natin tong kailangan natin ang, ang food para mabuhay, and we get it from uh, the the field in uh, field of agriculture. Now, uh, an issue, okay, an issue that the society is facing is the um, um, the population and how will the agricultural sector can uh, mass produce you know raw materials or foods okay for everyone kasi uh, marami sa mga kabataan ngayon ay uh, hindi na sila interested sa agriculture and most of our farmers eh medyo matanda na so di ba sino sino may iwan sino magiging future farmers natin uh, a lot of people are excelling in this area in some in other science science field but how about the agricultural sector na, na, na basic necessity natin to. Dito tayo kukuha ng, ng pagkain natin. So, uh, what if sa paglobo ng population and dumating din yung time na sobrang konti na lang ng mga farmers, eh, hindi na sapat yung supply 
no? Ang dami, ang laki ng demand pero walang supply. So, paano na? Ano na mangyayari? Kaya importante din yung agriculture. Uh, yung iba, uh, medyo minamaliit tong tong field to, but no. Hindi lang uh, para mabuhay tayo ang uh, benefit ng agriculture, or ang contribution niya to our society, but even the uh, economic development, right? So, since there are uh, many businesses that is uh, in the food industry, so, ang, ang raw material or raw ingredients of these uh, food manufacturing uh, companies or restaurants, fast foods, no, nanggagaling sa agricultural sector or sa, sa farming. Okay, sa pagpa-farming. Now, um, with, with the exchange of goods and services in uh, the food industry, so, nagkakaroon ng, um, ng economic development. Dahil si, si consumer bibili kay, kay food business, magpabayad ng pera, okay, kakaroon ng income si business para pang bayad ng employees. So, yung employment rate ay at hindi bababa. Si business may pambayad ng tax. So, the, the, with, wherein this tax will be used by the government to um, finance the different institutions in, the, uh, in, in a country. Pwede din na si, um, si farm mag-import or export ng products okay, from uh, another country. Same thing with this food business, food manufacturing business na nag import export ng product. So, ganun ang um, benefit ng agriculture. Napakalawak na nga. Uh, uh, ng maidudulot ng agriculture in our society. And actually, not just, not just in the uh, business, economic um, world. Even in, um, you know, maintaining, uh, maintaining a, a place or an area na suitable for, for us to live in. Well, I think all of us know the composition of a plant, of a tree, right? So, meron yung naidudulot na maganda sa environment, right? So, ang, ang dami talagang uh, nagagawa ng agriculture sector in our um, uh, country, the environment, the people itself. Yun nga lang, uh, as mentioned, um, hindi natutuunan ng uh, uh, pansin ng, ng importansya itong uh, sector na to. That's why uh, many agencies, private, public, national, and international, are teaming up. Okay? Nakikipag-cooperate sila para maingganyo yung mga kapataan na mag-aral ng agriculture. Just recently, I saw this news from the Department of Agriculture na may, na may ipapadala silang mga young farmers sa Taiwan for them to be trained. And syempre, yung, yung training nila doon, after some time, ay uh, i-a-apply nila yung training nila dito sa Pilipinas. Okay, and yung iba naman, um, tinitrain to put up their their own uh, business or agribusiness or uh, urban gardening no? with with just a simple or um, with just plastic bottles with the right soil, the the seeds and so on. So you can do it um, sa sa bakuran nyo or kahit na nasa city ka ay kayang mag magtanim, magfarm through urban gardening. So, ang daming um, initiative and definitely we're, we're hoping that one day uh, there are many young people who will be involved in agriculture. Dahil sobrang 
uh, importante to kailangan kailangan natin to and uh, so there are experts who are a bit worried or concerned now what if there there may come a time na um wala nang farmers to harvest to uh, breed animals livestock crops and so on so Sana uh, kayo ay maging involved in the agricultural sector. Maybe you can put up your own uh, agribusiness. So we have here the different branches of agriculture. We have agronomy, horticulture, forestry, animal husbandry, um, livestock, fishery science, agricultural engineering, and agricultural economics. Some um, includes rural economics. It focuses on uh, how, how these products are um, utilized for the consumer side of it. Anyway, let's focus first on agronomy. So, agronomy, it's a uh, focus on crop production. Actually, si agronomy and horticulture, mag, uh, magkalapit sila na sa crop production ang uh, focus niya. So, ano nga ba yung mga kasama doon? Food crops, water crops, fiber, sugar, oil seeds. Those are some of the uh, um, the products under agronomy. So, can you try to guess from the pictures I have included here, ano kaya yung uh, part ng agronomy? Next is horticulture. Horticulture naman, it uh, deals with the production of fruits, vegetables, flowers, ornamental plants, spices, condiments, and beverages. So, ngayong pandemic, uh, horticulture ang karamihang uh, nahihigan ng noise. So, ngayong naka-quarantine sila um, with, with spare bottle, uh, some uh, soil, usutable na soil, tapos bibili na lang sila ng mga uh, like nursery plants, no? tapos doon na nila uh, papaligwin sa, sa bahay. Horticulture yung mga plantito-plantita na nauso ngayon. Next is we have forestry. So it deals with production of large-scale cultiva cultivation of perennial trees for supplying wood, timber, rubber, etc., and raw materials for industry. Definitely, sa forestry, well, may food pa rin naman. Halos lahat naman uh, may, may uh, combination of food products. They can produce food products and also uh, raw materials for industrial purposes. Then we have animal husbandry. So this one, it deals with the practice of breeding and raising livestock to provide food for humans and to, and to provide power and manure for crops. So, diba, as mentioned, no? Si agriculture, napaka-flexible na ang dami niya talagang ben benefits. Si animal husbandry, uh, pwede natin gawin yung waste ng mga animals for um, for fertilizer. Then, for fishery science naman, some, uh, they, they call this aquaculture. So, see, animal husbandry and fishery science is in the uh, uh, animal management. Siyempre, si fishery science, um, ang focus niya ay breeding and breeding fishes, including marine and inland fishes, shrimp, and prawns, etc. Okay, then we have agricultural engineering. So it deals with farm machinery for, for field preparation, intercultivation, harvesting, and post harvest processing, including soil and water, conservation engineering, and bioenergy. So see, agricultural uh, engineering medyo um, complex na to na application of agricultural concepts. And it um, um, it, it uses technology and definitely research them. 
mas mas uh, intense din dito yung pag research And then, agricultural economics deals with the business of farming. So, how will uh, the farm, the agricultural sector, um, will help with the economic development of a country? So that, these are the branches of agriculture. Um, examples, again, meron tayong bakat, yung barong. So, since it's an abaka, it's a, a fiber, but uh, the sa agronomy. For uh, coffee beans, Hawang Philippines, we are one of the leading uh, coffee bean producer. So, yung robusta, excelsa, liberica, arabica, yan ang mga different types of bean. And ang pinaka famous sa atin ay ang uh, Kapeng Barako, and also Kopi Luwak, came from the manure of, uh, I forgot that um, uh, that animal, so from the uh, manure of this animal, yun yung ginagawang kape, but most of the people say it's really delicious. So if you will classify this, uh, mapapabilang siya sa um, Pwedeng horticulture, horticulture then since this is, we can consider this as a spice and also forestry because it's from from the, the sea salt. Next, we have tuyo. So, daing pinapa, syempre, it's specially science. Then, we have buko juice. So, natin sabi na it's horticulture. Um, uh, yung rubber. So this is the process on how they uh get the parang the the crap from from trees to produce rubber. Ne next we have uh these two. So, meron tayong tapa and balot. So, we can classify this in the animal husbandry, kasi so it's process na ha. so sa well sa, sa agriculture naman hindi lang siya yung raw material or raw uh, ingredients the whole foods um with the advancement of technology as usual we are uh, processing foods so napakadaming um products na uh, uh, Philippines in the agricultural sector um, sobrang dami na uh, nakakatuwa na may mga Pinoy na dinadala ang mga products natin sa ibang bansa and they are also selling it and other countries are enjoying it. They love these products like the balut kahit na yung iba nang nitira and they are enjoying it. So as we can see, uh, going back no, dun sa uh, importance of agriculture, na incorporate natin yung kultura natin sa mga foods natin na ibinibenta sa ibang bansa. So, hindi lang tayo nakakatulong sa ekonomiya ng bansa, but we are also sharing our culture to them. Kung gano'ng kahilig yung pinoy sa pagkain and how delicious our foods are. Napaka uh, ganda ng uh, agriculture. And again, uh, sana maging part tayo lahat in the development of this sector. So now that we're done with the a short introductory for um, agriculture, uh, I have uploaded the other videos in our Google Classroom. Please watch it. Um, I have opted to um, get videos from YouTube. In scan ko naman, it's very related to our topic so that we can uh, hear um, other lectures from different universities or other people. So, mas maganda na ganun yung maging uh, yung natin para yung hindi lang nagagaling sa akin yung information but also from different countries. So, again, thank you and uh, please watch the video lectures I have posted and answer the activities. Okay, para wala na tayong problema by the end of the semester. 
So thank you so much, ingat pong lahat, and see you on our next video lecture.